the life of Tina Turner. Popularly known as the queen of rock and roll, Tina Turner was also an actress, singer, and songwriter. She serenaded the public with many hit songs that still grace our ears to this day. Some of these songs include Simply the Best, A Fool in Love, and What's Love Got to Do With It, which won the Grammy Award for Record of the Year and became her first and only number one song on the Billboard Hot 100. She was born into a sharecropping family on November 26, 1939, in Brownsville, Tennessee, as Anna Mae Bullock. She was Floyd Richard Bullock's youngest child, with Zelma Priscilla, his wife. The family resided in the remote town of Nutbush, Tennessee. Tina Turner started singing as part of the choir at Nutbush's Spring Hill Baptist Church. She also worked as a domestic worker for the Henderson family in Ripley, Tennessee. She joined both the cheerleading squad and the female basketball team at Carver High School in Brownsville and socialized every chance she got. She graduated from Sumner High School in 1958. Tina Turner's singing career officially kicked off after moving to St. Louis and immersing herself in the social scene. She met Ike who would become her husband in the future in 1956 at a performance by his band, The Kings of Rhythm. She had on several occasions tried to get him to let her sing with him, a feat that other women rarely achieved. She was, however, determined and in no time began to perform with him and his band under the name Little Anne. She soon became the centerpiece of the performance because of her captivating stage persona, her successful single, A Fool in Love, marked her debut as Tina Turner in 1960. The Ike and Tina Turner Review rose to prominence as one of the greatest live performances in history. Hits like It's Gonna Work Out Fine, River Deep, Mountain High, Proud Mary, and Nutbush's City Limits were among the songs the duo released before breaking up in 1976. She released her debut solo album, Private Dancer, in 1984. Tina garnered many successes during her career as an entertainer, becoming one of the all-time greatest-selling recording artists with over 100 million records sold globally. She won 12 Grammy Awards, including three inductions into the Grammy Hall of Fame, eight competitive prizes, and a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. She was the first woman and black artist to be on Rolling Stone's cover. She was listed as one of the 100 greatest singers and artists of all time by Rolling Stone. Both the Hollywood Walk of Fame and the St. Louis Walk of Fame have stars honoring Turner. She received two inductions into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, one in 1991 as a solo artist and the other in 2021 alongside Ike Turner. In 2005, she received the Women of the Year and Kennedy Center Honors. A life filled with so many achievements was not without its challenges. Going back in time, her mother left her family to flee her abusive husband when Tina was only 11. When she became a teenager, she lost her half-sister and cousins to a tragic car accident. The woes didn't stop there. In Tina's marriage, she suffered domestic abuse for many years at the hands of her husband, Ike. She granted several interviews with popular figures like Oprah Winfrey, where recounted the harrowing experiences she faced at the hands of her husband, even at a time when she was pregnant. She finally went public with the abuse so that other women living in fear would be encouraged to start over, to conquer. She was a survivor and charged on despite the many challenges she faced. Tina also faced health issues during her life, kidney failure, intestinal cancer, and strokes. However, none of these define how she lived her life. She chose hope over despair, and her life's work is a testament to what you can achieve when you put your mind to it. She died peacefully at her home in Zurich, Switzerland, at the age of 83. To this day, we pay tributes to the one who was simply the best.